Hi, in this video I'll be showing you how to use your Moodle calendar. Of course you have to log in into your teacher account, so do this, and then go to your Moodle course. Here you, here you have to look at the upcoming events table, go to the calendar, and you can set its preferences if you want to. I've set it to display the time in a 24 hour display format. You can choose the 12 a.m. p.m. format, and I've chosen the first day of the week to be a Monday. The other settings aren't really important if you are just starting to use the calendar, and you can always set them later. So let's start by adding a new event. You can set user events and course events. There are also group events and global events, and I'll describe them a little bit. Global events are visible to anyone on the Moodle site and are being set by the sysadmin. Group, group events are being set by teachers and are visible to anyone in a specific group. Since I don't have any groups in my Moodle, I can't add group events. And course events are events visible to anyone in a specific course and user events are only visible to you. So let's add a course event, call it test, you can type in description if you want to, and choose a date for it, let's say the 20th December, without repeating and without duration. Now this will be added to the 20th. If you roll over on to the, 20, on the number 20 in the monthly view, there will be a little pop up box which will inform you what events are on this day. And now let's add another event, let's say a user event, and this time we'll set this event to have a duration. So let's call it user222, because it will be a two day event. So it's going to start on the 19th, and it's going to span all over to the 20, 20th, some to 17 o'clock. Now save this and look on the calendar on your right side. As you can see, this event has been added here and you can see this. And if you go to first day, it will be displayed as, events, as event underway. You can of course edit this as any other event and modify and mod any information you want. Especially, you can change its duration. We'll do this now. And as you can see, the other days are not really being displayed on a colored background, but with thin lines above and beneath them. This means that on this day, with these lines, there isn't a even starting, but there is one underway. So, let's go to the 20th. So, there should be this event underway, and on Friday it still is underway, on Saturday it still is, as you can see here, also, and on Sunday there is no event. And another thing about events is, this time another course event, let's call it 101, any description, and this thing I want to show you now is repeating events. So if you start an event on the 21st, let's say, and want to repeat it five times for five weeks, let's say, just type in five here, check the repeat weekly option, and this event will be repeated five times in the five upcoming weeks from this date you've chosen. So this is the basic usage of your calendar. There is also an overall bigger and more uh, nicer to your eyes view when you click on the December or any month name. You can see it a little more clearly and you can of course anytime you want hide or, sh hide or show specific user or uh, specific event types. So this is it and have fun with using Moodle.